What's up, everybody? This is Henry Fleischer here from the Cannabis Dispatch, also the CBD Business Networking Group on Facebook, and I have a very special guest today. I have Jackie Cravello of Upstate Aura. So Jackie, tell us a little bit about Upstate Aura. So Upstate Aura, it comes from our family-owned farm in Medusa, New York, which is about 40 minutes from Woodstock. We source all of our CBD from our farm. We are organic. So sustainable farming, no pesticides in our soil, we're USDA approved. We used to be a organic uh, vegetable farm, but we pulled all of our vegetables and planted hemp. So it's been a pretty exciting experience to change over to hemp. Oh, wow. And so what year was it that you made the transition from vegetables to hemp completely? So it's been a few years, but this is our second harvest. We usually harvest between August and September. So we're on our second one. And we started Upstate Aura about, or I think we're up like 11 months now, almost a year we're hitting our, our mark. Oh, wow. And what was it that triggered that transformation to say like, hey, I wanna go into hemp and not traditional vegetables? So what happened was my husband was in Colorado. He injured his back years ago. And some woman suggested to him in Colorado that he should use this cream that was equal parts CBD, THC. So he used it and he came home and he was like, you got to check out this cream. And I was like a lot of people in the world with the same kind of naive, uneducated comments and said, you know, I don't want to be high. And is it going to get through my skin? And I, you know, have things to do. I just can't be high all day long. And he was like, no, no, no. He's like, start reading about it, educate yourself. And then let's really look into this. So I started reading books. I started watching uh, great movies that are out there and documentaries. And then I started asking around. And so I tried the cream because I injured myself during a sport. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And so then we looked more into it. And it just so happens a guy that he grew up with had a vegetable farm and was also looking to get out of the vegetable farm and into the hemp farms. So we sat down, we invested in the farm. So it's our family and the farmer's family and he lives. And if you can see on the picture, that's the house, his house for his family. And uh, the big little water areas, uh, science class for his kids that uh, they homeschool when homeschool wasn't a thing for all of us. Um, and now, um, so we started it together and it's been fantastic. So we source all Upstate Aura CBD from there. And then we produce tinctures and a cream, all full spectrum. We only do full spectrum. Oh, cool. Only full, full spectrum. You mentioned about documentaries too. There's actually a show on Vice called Kings of Kush. The Anthony Sullivan, who's the Oxy Queen salesman is actually in that CBD business and it actually showcases how he bought a bunch of farmland, grew the hemp plants and then all the other distribution and other pr putting together all the processes for making the company. So it's like, oh, it's really interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I watched the first rest, um, when I watched was on Netflix called Weed the People, W-E-E-D, The People. Yeah. Have you watched it? I haven't seen that yet. I mean, it's fantastic. It really, so I, as a mom for me, what what gets me very excited about selling CBD with less than 0.3% THC is that I like that lighter feeling. I think it really solves a lot for my family, whether we're injured and we pulled something on our knees on for, you know, for our, uh, cream or for the tincture that just makes us want to feel a little lighter, you know, um, less anxious, take the edge off without feeling high. You know, I don't have time to sit and eat a bag of chips because I'm high. I need to continue going with my day and brings down my ADD just a little notch, which helps a lot for me personally. Um, so when people ask me all the time, if my life is going to change because marijuana became legal. And I always say the same thing, no, because a lot of my clients are moms and, you know, it's just a different life. We really can't, you know, be high all the time. Oh, so yeah about cbd it's just feeling a little lighter no i agree with the part that it does take the edge off like if you have ADD, like i have that myself sorry to take you it, it takes off the it gets it takes the jitters off from coffee too <laughs> yes exactly um back to the, the weed the people so what got me as a mom as i was saying so excited about this is that it really showed you how cbd first started and how it helped kids first when it came into the market 
um, who had seizures or cancer and it takes you through their life of them using the CBD. And for me, I feel like that, that documentary changed my whole perspective and really one, it made me decide, yes, this is something I want to do. And I want to be the messenger and educate more people and get my product out there. But if I was going to make a product, I really want it to be grade A, organic, USDA approved, like top of the line, clean. I want people when they taste my CBD to be like, oh, it tastes so good. Herby, but good. Oh, yeah. That's like one problem, too. There's a lot of brands out there where you don't know where they're sourcing it from. And they might claim, hey, it's all CBD, but it might not necessarily be CBD. So I think that's just important to just go, go organic with CBD. Yes, and a lot of people... Um, have, have a lot of complaints about people's CBD and they say it tastes like an ashtray or a little too herby. Or then you have people who add more ingredients to their CBD for the taste, to hide the taste, like strawberry, melon, watermelon, all these things that some people do like. I don't want to you know, talk bad about anyone's CBD, but I also feel like chasing it with a cup, sip of water or some honey or putting your tea or coffee is a better way than adding another ingredient in something that you're trying to use to to, to help your body. Yeah, because it's not always, you're not taking CBD for the taste, it's for the health benefits. So I mean, it, let's say it doesn't have the best taste. If it's helping you, your health, like it's worth it. The taste only lasts a short amount of time. Absolutely. When I um, first, before I started, I started to start pre-selling my product before my product came out. And I started working in a CBD store because for me, the best way to educate yourself is talking to the people who have been on it for many years. And so every time I worked at the store, the owner was really nice. He knew I was coming up with my own brand, but he helped me educate myself and ask everybody why they use CBD and what it's done for them and their families. And I was able to talk to so many customers all over the board, you know, parents that had kids that have ADD or on the spectrum or have um, seizures. Um, and then I was talking to middle-aged women and men who have anxiety or depression or have you know any kind of issues with digestive system. And then I spoke to the older crowd and I, you know, like let's say 60 and up who had problems with like, you know, um, arthritis, early arthritis or um, PTSD, a few veterans came in and they said that, the, that CBD is the only thing that's helped them. And, and what made them believers is when they ran out their first bottle when they ran out and waited and then everything came back before they started CBD and they were like, Oh my God, it works. Oh, that's awesome. And then going back to the business side of things too, what was the toughest thing you went through when you first opened up? Um, I think, and it, the problem is it still continues. My biggest problem is just getting out there to educate people. I really try to take the time to educate and show people. A lot of people are like, oh, no, it's not for me. I'm fine, or I don't need it. And I'm like, we're all bloated. <laughs> the whole world needs it. I mean, right now, even when you're in the wellness industry, everybody's talking about your gut and how your gut has so much to do with everything with your body. And if you have any you know, arthritis or any kind of pain, you, you should look into what's going on with your gut. And I feel like CBD really can help with that. Um, so for the business side, I would, honestly just say getting more it in people's mouths and then to try it and giving samples and letting people really get into it and learn more about it. I tell everybody to educate themselves as much as they can. You know, even, you know, it's kind of like the wine business when people are like, do I like this wine? What do I like? How do I learn about wine? Because I've been in the wine business since I was 21 years old. And I always tell everybody, you know, get a bunch of wine, brown bag it, drink, 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 like sip them taste the different wines, get Sauvignon Blancs from all different areas and regions, get a Cabernet from different countries, taste them, compare them. It's the same thing with CBD. It all comes down to the terroir, which is so important why I love that we used to be an organic vegetable farm, because it really in the long run counts. And it's the same thing, just educating yourself. And speaking of wine too, I think there are, there is they're coming out with some CBD infused wines. I know that's in the works right there. So I'll be another good product to try. <laughs> There's so many CBD products and truthfully, I love them all. I love that more and more people are, you know, producing CBD products. I do, I do like that, 
you know, some actors and actresses are getting behind CBD because I feel like even though I'm maybe I wouldn't buy their particular CBD, it's just educating more people and allowing people to feel comfortable saying that they buy CBD instead of whispering that they like CBD or saying to me, like, do you have the CBD? I'm like, listen, I'm not doing anything illegal. <laughs> CBD, everyone should have it in their house. Helps so many different people. No, I think, yeah, just hemp in general, that plant is like, it, you can, it has so many uses. Yeah, so more and more, the educated, the more educated we all are, the better off we'll all be. Oh, yeah, of course. And uh, is there anything you would do differently if you had to start from day one again? Oh, that's a good question. Um, if there's anything I would do differently. You know, I, I really like what we're doing at Upstate Aura. I love the results that we're getting. I, at some point, I always tell my husband, my big dream is to be in a big warehouse and for us to have lots of employees and to just keep getting it out there. You know, that's my big dream, but I really wouldn't change anything because, you know, we're less than a year old. We're moving right along and we're just trying to, you know, hit the pavement running. Oh, of course. And what would you say the toughest part about being in this business in this current year? Honestly, is the stigmatism of people thinking that, you know, they're going to get high or that, you know, that they're doing, you know, having marijuana on their system. You know, you know listen, life has to change as well. There's a lot of, um, I've had a few people that have come to me during um, mar farmer's markets, like that were New York City cops. They're like, oh, now they test for CBD. And their letter went out and they're like, it's the only thing that works for us, but we're not allowed to use it. So hopefully it will change for them too, because everyone is stressed. And if everybody can just feel a little lighter from a plant that's organic, why would we not push that? Oh yeah, of course. It's not like they're asking for a prescription. They're just asking to use what comes naturally from a plant. Yeah. I mean, like we're, it's changing though, because more states are legalizing it. Finally. <laughs> yeah. And um, if a customer was to choose between Upstate or and three others, just like yours, why do you suggest they give you a try first? I always, listen, I always say it's in the taste. It's how you feel. It's finding your sweet spot. I love to work with people who buy my product as like a consultant as well on the house to make sure people find their sweet spot. That is the key to CBD and what it does for your body. So we make a 300, a 600 and 1200. It's pretty simple. And we also do a dosage where you can have a little more or a little less. It's 0 0.75 or 0 0.25, 0 0.50, and then the full dosage. So I always, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just happy that they're doing CBD, but I really feel like our biggest compliment is people love our taste of CBD and our product. So, I guess the, you know, proof is in the pudding. They have to find one that they really enjoy and they like the taste and they want to take every day because you have to be consistent with CBD. You can't take it every, you know, blue moon and be like, I don't know why it's not working. Or you can't take too little and you can't take too much because that's not your sweet spot. And then a lot of people give up. They'll like, you know, like, let's say it's a person who has a really good tolerance and they're taking 300 milligram, a 300 milligram dosage won't do so much for them. And then they might be like, CBD never did, did anything for me. And that's because they're, they're too low on the milligram. So though there's not like a, you know, a certain number, every body is different. You have to be in tune with your own body, decide what's working for your own body. And then once you find your sweet spot, you're not trying to increase it. You, you are, that is your sweet spot. Like I take 600 milligrams every night for the last 11 months. I don't want to go higher. I don't want to go lower. It's my sweet spot. Well, it's what works for me. I love it. So I think the key is to, whether it's mine or somebody else's, find your sweet spot. No, yeah. I think it took me some time to notice a difference with CBD too. Just, you don't feel it right away, but I feel like after a month or so, then you notice a difference. You're like, oh, hey, I'm feeling calmer. And it's like, hey, sleep's better. Yeah, I know. And then if you got for me, get off of it, you're like, oh yeah, that was really working. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's not an obvious um, change. Like you said, it takes a while. Yeah. This, like the quality of sleep is so much better too. It's like, I don't even know what I dreamed of. I, everything's just like, I'm in mean, such a deep sleep from it. I know I've had customers uh, wear their Apple watches to bed and they've said that their highest REM is when they're on CBD. Oh, that's interesting. And what's the number one way in which you get new customers? Our number one way to get customers, I would say 
is I feel like the farmer's markets are our number one way because we're able to educate them and speak to them. I feel like a lot of my customers are brand new from the farmer's markets and they've never really learned about it. So I give them a quick CBD 101 and I think that people really are interested about it and have heard, everyone's heard about it. It's just whether they've tried it or not. So I think the key is to really hand out samples again and to talk about it with more people. We do online business. We don't have a brick and mortar. We're just all online. We do a lot of online business. And at this time in the year, farmer's markets, everybody wants to be outside. You know, it's great weather and people are willing to be open-minded. And that's why they go to farmer's markets because they want right from the farm. Of course. Product. So what role has the internet played in getting the business more prevalent? So we do a few things on Facebook. We do Instagram. Um, we send out emails to our customers monthly. Um, we're just starting up, hopefully, um, the automatic monthly because we have a lot of repeat customers. So that's going to also help our business. Um, and then, you know, constantly trying to put on Facebook. They, I think I read something once that, People have to see an ad, it doesn't have to be the same ad, but an ad about a product seven times before they actually really look into the ad. No, I believe that. I think the thing is on Facebook too, when somebody's, they're just scrolling through their news feeds. It's like, you gotta catch their attention too. They're not yeah. always in that mindset of buying, but yeah, if they see it enough times, they'll be like, oh, I'll think about it. Exactly. And it's important, you know, like during certain times of the year that you are a little heavier on the ads, like Mother's Day is Sunday, right? It's the perfect gift for a mother. We're all sore. We're all inflamed. So it's perfect for mom. And then dad's dad, you know, Father's Day comes. And then it's, and there's always a reason. Everyone's going to their neighbor's house. Why can't you bring CBD as a, instead of bringing a bottle of wine, be like, you're welcome. I brought you a box of CBD. That's what I do too. <laughs> you know, or what about all those, you know, agents that just sold a house? And instead of saying, congratulations, here's a rocking chair. Congratulations. Now you can feel a little lighter and a box of CBD. It's the new gift now. No more bottles of wine. Now it's a box of CBD. But yeah, like you know, a lot of businesses have like promotional products too, where they print their business on like different items. They should print it on CBD box. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, even Fourth of July <laughs> should be a hemp day because Declaration of Independence was written on hemp paper. <laughs> exactly. Yes, it was. <laughs> Yeah, like I think that's gonna change so too. Cause like I know we got we have 420 for like hemp and cannabis, but like there's gonna be other days that will be revolving around like I know. the plant. Well, I mean, surely. It's like how like because picture behind me. This is our farm. Oh, cool. We're 40. We have 40 acres and eight are planted right, as of now. Oh wow. Well, oh, speaking of your farm too, have have you ever encountered male plants? You know, the farmer takes care of all of that. I think he makes sure that they're no, I, he has found male plants and he's taken them out. Um, but he really knows the logistics of it all. We let him, we let him be who he is. He's a fantastic farmer. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So like, that's the one thing too, that's not talked about in the hemp industry is toxic masculinity <laughs> on the farm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the male plants can like ruin the female plants. That's right, yeah. That's why we, we don't want them in there. Nope. So I want to show you my products. If you guys, if you can see it, we have our 300 full spectrum CBD. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. Then we have our 600. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yep. We have our 1200. And then we have our 2000 full spectrum extra strength cream. Whoa. This is like. The bomb. I think I'm going to change it called the bomb because that's the reviews I'm getting. Like, oh, that is the bomb. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But what I love about our dosage, like I was saying before, and I don't know if you can see this or not, there's different lines. So you could really play with it to decide how you can find your sweet spot because that is so important with CBD and when people take it. I, I, I feel bad when people, you know, give it up when they haven't found it. And so I make it very clear to people, like, really, really don't forget to try to find your sweet spot. Oh, of course. If you had to take a look like six months to a year down the line, where would you like to see Upstate Aura? Oh my God. I would love to just continue seeing growth with Upstate Aura, getting in people's hands and at their homes 
and everybody telling every they love it, people loving it, and then them sharing that they love it and having all their friends and family buy it as well. I believe my product. I love my product. I use my product. I wouldn't be able to sell something that I didn't believe in or use myself. And I just adore my product. And hopefully everybody who buys my product feels the same way. Oh, of course. And um, I tried, oh, so a question I ask a lot of times too, is which food would you like to see most infused with CBD? <laughs> well, now that they have chocolate, um, I think they're coming out with salad dressings. Um, that's a good question. I guess maybe I would, I'm not a dessert person, but I feel like desserts at restaurants would be nice. I know they have CBD ice cream. So something baking wise would probably be nice. Or even you're listening at, at smoothie places. Now you could put a shot of CBD in your, in your smoothie. Oh, that's interesting. I was saying for desserts, what if they did like CBD donuts or. Oh, that's a good idea too. I think a lot of the products that are on the market are on the sweeter side. I think they should make some on the savory side too, like chips, pretzels, yeah, yeah like hot sauces. I think even there's some red sauces out there with CBD infused on them now. I mean, listen, it can go in anything and everything, right? Yeah. What about it too when you're at a restaurant and they, you know, like they serve you the bread with the olive oil? What if they had CBD oil in it too? <laughs> exactly. Even too, like I would like to grill like steaks with like some CBD oil on there, like in the marinade or yeah. Start marinating all your food, all your vegetables. See if you uh, see a difference. Yeah, I love when people come up with different things when they tell me that they've done X Y Z with their CBD or like when when I first started in the industry, a few friends were saying that um they saw in some this is before like right we we came out like right before COVID. And before COVID is when I was, you know, telling everyone I was cutting my own line and yada, yada, yada from the farm. And um, lots of people would come up with ideas of what they'd done already. So every time they'd come up with it, I'd go home and try it too. Cause I always felt like it was so important that I should know what it feels like or what it tastes like after they've told me that they use it. Like someone was saying that they put it in their wine. So I put it in my wine that night. I'm like, okay, so it changes the smell but it doesn't change the taste because it was only one dosage and that's all you really should be taking anyways. Oh yeah. I like the smell of CBD. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's fine anyways, but you know, so different people are putting in different things. I mean, it's amazing what people are coming up with. Yeah. Oh, speaking of COVID too, how did that impact the business? That was really hard for, for us because we were just kicking off upstate aura and we sell to a lot of wellness stores and um, farmer's markets were closed. So it was just very difficult. And to start a company right at the beginning is very hard. I know people were like, oh, everybody's doing online, but if you don't have a name yet to get people to go is, was extremely difficult. But as soon as things started opening up again, then we really started rocking and rolling. Yeah, I think, I think that's actually in a weird way, the best time to start a business is during the, that time of uncertainty and tough in like tough times like looking back on the 08 to 10 recession there were a lot of tech companies that started at that time i believe like instagram uber lyft what else was started oh venmo yeah venmo. oh god so like all those people just like hey like it's it's like there's we have a lot of time on our hands because it's a down economy so we're going to create some solutions to these problems so that's it'll be interesting to see where how many businesses come out of covid yeah, yes. From that time period. Well, also what for us, what it allowed us to do was really build the business from the ground up and do a lot of legwork. So as soon as everything started opening up, everything was already set up. Our farmers markets were set up. Every kind of business that we're doing, pop-ups, everything was set up, which if we opened the game we were running, I might've not had time to do all of that. So that really allowed me to take the time, try to set up as much as I can, online business, um, other vehicles that use their online business, like wellness pages um, and other companies. So that allowed us the time to do that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It, uh, what's one thing, you, uh, where do you see that CBD industry heading in a few years as well, too? I think, in my opinion, I think that it's going to continue to grow. Back to what I said, whether marijuana became legal or not, I think people really enjoy that lighter feeling without feeling high and the lethargic feeling. Um, so I think as long as more people are getting into it, you know, 
they enjoy it. Even like the 80 plus year olds, they love it. I don't know if they all want to be high either, but they're loving that feeling and they have more body aches and they want to, you know, feel lighter and, and, and have something help that's natural. Oh, of course. There are people too, like both. They want to be high and then get the CBD. Like yes, I know. And I, and that's so great for those people too. I, I, I heard that people really enjoy mixing the two, even when they um, are smoking it. They love it. Oh yeah. Even like, like during the day too, though, it's like, I'm not sure everybody wants to be high that they just take the CBD. And then when they, at nighttime, when they're all yeah. done with everything. Mix and match. Exactly. Yeah. It works for your body. I think it's kind of like with if people want to taste beer, but they don't want to get drunk, so they go with non-alcoholic beer. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> and another thing too, like I um, mentioned, like the CBD business is continuing to grow. So like, which regulations would you like to see put in place to ensure that the best quality products are out there? You know, I love that we're organic. I see a lot of CBD companies that are not organic and just kind of put it out there or like all, people can get, it, uh, CBD from a lot of websites like Amazon and don't really know where it's sourced from. And then they try these companies and they're really not getting the best quality CBD and then they don't like it. And then you have to have this long, re-educate them and have this long conversation and try to convince them to give it a shot again, which is much harder than when they've never ordered it or when they've ordered from somebody who has high quality, then they know another high quality company from another high quality company. So for me, I wish that those things tightened up. You know, it was, I don't know if that's possible because it's more expensive for it to be organic, but it would be nice if there was something that helped that out. You know, it's kind of like, you know, what you're going to put in your kids' mouths or your mouth, like, you know, with the chicken and the meat and the dairy. Mm -hmm. I was thinking too, like, I think hemp could be used as a food source for like cows and the chickens as well too, like as their feeds. Yes, we sell it to um, a few sanctuary farms and they give it to their chickens and goats. Yeah, it's better like, cause like some, there's some farms out there that they feed the animals like corn, soy, pest and, and other antibiotics as well. And that doesn't, that, that shows in the quality of the meat too. Like grass fed steak is, that looks much better than the yeah it looks and tastes much better as well yeah. right yeah it doesn't there's not as fatty like the meat is like much cleaner yes and as far as animals go cbd is so great for animals so many people are using it for their animals for you know if the animals are anxious when they get on planes instead of them giving them a, a pill they just put cbd in their food or a little you know let them chew like a little gummy or whatever they have i don't i don't know if they have like pet a lot of pet companies are not coming up with their own CBD products, but people use this for so many different things for pets. Oh yeah, there, there are CBD pr products out there. Yeah. It's not like, even like too with like industrial hemp too, there's gonna be a lot of industries that are gonna be booming because of that too. Like, because of hempcrete and yeah. I guess, you know, uh, textiles and clothing as well too. So that's another interesting thing to see as well. And try to think what other, uh, oh, so you mentioned too, do you guys sell biomass as well too? Like what do you guys use with the remnants of the plants? We do not, we do not. Okay, that, uh, just, I'm just curious too, because like a lot of times like farms have all this residue and there's a lot they can do with that too, is have another. I know, when I first started and learned how you could literally take the bottom of the stem to the top and do so many things with it, which I thought was amazing. People make shirts and furniture and all the different kinds of things. I love that, but we don't sell, we happen to not sell ours. No, I think the dream house would be have to have every, the dream house for me would be everything constructed of hemp. Like insulation, <laughs> the structure, you yeah, get make sure that- all the time feeling so great at home. I, know, I think even hemp too, it's like more bug resistant. You don't, have, you don't get as many bugs from that either than the traditional wood frames. Oh, the bugs. This is the time of year. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, there have been a lot of bugs coming out now. So <laughs> yeah, it's something to think about. So yeah, what's the best way somebody can get a hold of you as well too? So the best way for somebody to get a hold of us is going to our website upstate www.upstateaura.com 
Um, and then um, it's just me at the company. So if you want to write an email of info at upstateaura.com or call the number, I'll answer. I'll reply back to the email. And I'm always open to whatever questions you got, anybody has. There's no dumb question. I just love educating more people. So please visit us on our website, upstateaura.com. Yep. Awesome. And what advice would you give to somebody who's thinking about starting in the CBD industry? Oh, that's a good question. I feel like the best way is to start asking around what CBD do does for people. That was my way of learning. I think it works because you need to know these stories. And, you know, I could say what it, it did for me, but, but I own the company, right? So it's more important for people to think, to know stories of what happened to other people as well. Oh, and got they it. Can see the similarities, you know, like they could say, oh, it happens to me or, oh, it doesn't happen to me. So that's not going to work for me, you know, depending. Right. But educate yourself, educate, yeah. ask questions and really learn about what it does for people. Well, about somebody who's also thinking about taking CBD, who is on the fence, what would you say to get them? Slow and low, slow and low. So I say, like, if people are like, I'm going to try it and they'll go straight to my 1200. I'm like, mm, let's pull it back a notch. And then I'll talk them through what I feel like their milligrams would be. And I make the suggestion. And then I say, you know, like, let's say they're like, I want to take the 1200. And I say to myself, mm, they look more like they'd be really happy with the 600 because some people don't realize how strong it can be. So I always tell them, like, take half of a dropper of the 1200, which is 600 for two to three nights. See what that does for you. If you feel nothing at all, then go up to your 1200. If you feel like, oh, I thought that I felt really good and I wake up and I feel refreshed, then 600 is your sweet spot. But you can make, you can go lower or higher, but I always tell people slow and low. Oh, awesome. And I'm trying to think, um, what other questions? I, oh, we covered so much right now. Listen, yeah. you have my website. If anybody ever wants to contact me, please do. I love talking to people. Awesome. So I think that's all for today. You're more than welcome to come back on as a guest anytime. If you're announcing anything new with the business or any new developments with CBD, please let us know. We will. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye.